Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. So I normally reserve talking about financial stuff for the Alaska Prepper News Channel, but I thought I'd go ahead and do a video on my way to work or on my way to the gas station to get my morning coffee, as you all know, about some of the things that I am doing. When I left the house today, <clears throat> about five minutes ago, the Dow Jones had dropped was at about negative 800. I have no idea what it will be at when uh, I publish this video, but all I know is that for the last week or so, we've had nothing but down days. And we've lost, I don't know, about 15% or so of the market, of the Dow Jones market, that is, in the last week or so. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I'm doing and you must do what you feel that you're comfortable with. By no means am I a financial advisor, and you should all know that, especially those of you that have been with me for a while. And as you know, if you've been keeping up with at least the alternate media or social media for the past several years, you'll know that the Dow Jones is nothing but a fake paper market. Ask yourselves, how is it that 30 companies, the Dow Jones represents 30 companies. How is it that in one week, 30 companies can lose roughly four to five trillion dollars in value? How is that? If you understand what value and wealth really is, then you would understand that unless there was a catastrophe that occurred, like a major earthquake throughout the world or use your imagination that destroyed all these businesses and their factories and the places where they produce things would they lose that much money and value and that has not happened I did a video I don't know a few days ago on the Alaska Prepper News Channel that went something like are they going to use an excuse or are they going to use the problem that's going on in the world right now if you understand what I'm saying the health problem are they going to use that as an excuse for the woes of the market and so far it seems that that's exactly what they're doing everything you read and everything you hear in mainstream is the Dow Jones is plunging because of this thing when in reality, for years, people have been blowing the horn about how the stock market is fake. Now, I cannot tell you whether the stock market is going to continue to drop. But what is going on right now, ladies and gentlemen, is what I've said in the past. What is going on right now is a huge transfer of wealth. Wealth cannot be destroyed. It can only be transferred. Why? Because wealth is energy. Energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be changed from one thing to another. So right now, there's a lot of people that are still in the stock market that are holding a bag and they're gonna be left holding that bag. And most of them will stay there till the end until it's worth a fraction of what it was worth before. How can I tell you this, ladies and gentlemen? Because it's what's happened before in history. It happens over and over again. We just never learn. We as a people never learn that the game is rigged against us. Now, you want me to tell you what I think is going to happen? And this is 100% speculative because I don't know that this is going to happen. But I think that we're going to get a rebound. Within the next few weeks, we'll probably get a rebound. Within the next one or two weeks. It could be as early as next week. We're going to, we're going to get a rebound, and people are going to be excited and say, oh, okay, the correction happened. We hit our bottom. The correction happened. And they're going to start just flushing into the market. They're going to start buying everything. And then sometime in the end of March, maybe April, after things have somewhat normalized in the market, because you see the Fed 
and the banks, they're going to start pumping money into the market like crazy. I think that all of the central banks are going to coordinate with each other around the world and start pumping money into the banks like crazy. They may even do helicopter money like they're doing in, in uh, I believe it's in Korea. It's either in Korea or Hong Kong. I think it's in Korea. They're doing helicopter money, which is where they're giving every one of their citizens that are 18 or older, 10,000 Korean dollars, which equates to roughly 1,700, 2,000 US dollars. But they're giving every one of their citizens that are 18 or older, 10,000 Korean dollars. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you something. What good is that money gonna be worth if number one, there's nothing in the shelves to buy? because of the situation that's going on now with the supply system or the supply chain. What good is that money gonna do if there's nothing in the shelves to buy? What good is that money gonna do if they hyperinflate the economy to where the money is now worth a lot less than it was worth before they got it? They're going to try everything to hyperinflate this market back to where it was. And then eventually it will fall like a bowling ball falling out of a 737. It will fall, ladies and gentlemen. That's what history tells me is going to happen. Now, I could be wrong. They might have other plans. They may have other things up their sleeves this time around. But that's what I see happening. So what have I done and what am I doing? Well, surprisingly, as the stock market plunges, this morning I noticed that gold and silver, all of the metals, every single one of the metals, even rhodium that was at $11,300 plunged. Gold lost like $25, it went down to like $1,616. Silver is back under $17. It's like in the low 17s I believe, either low 17s or high 16s. I mean they just hammered silver. So when I saw that, it actually made me kind of grin because in addition to getting more preps this weekend today when I get out of work I'm gonna go buy some silver that's what I'm gonna do why am I going to buy some silver you guys already know if you listen to my channel long enough but I'll tell it to you in a really quick five-second commercial <laughs> silver is the most undervalued metal in the world the most undervalued asset in the world it's real if you hold it, you own it, it will never go to zero. Fiat currencies throughout history have always gone to zero. And all you have to do is do a little research and you'll know that I'm telling you the truth. Yesterday when I got out of work, I got a little scared. Because I went to an ATM to get money out of my bank and it wouldn't give me any money. Well, the banks were still open, so I went ahead and I actually went to the bank. And I said, is there anything on, Is there anything going on? Because I tried to take money out of my bank account and the ATM wasn't letting me. And she looked at her systems and she said, no, everything seems to be all right. I'm like, well, you know what? Go ahead and give me my money. I took everything out of there except for a dollar and 15 cents. And today, I'm going to do the same thing with another bank that I have. And this weekend, I'm going to do some more prepping on some things that maybe we forgot. I'm going to sit down with my wife and see if she can think of anything that we may be missing. One thing that I know I'm going to do this weekend is, is I'm going to fill up every single one of my fuel, fuel cans. In addition to having a reserve of fuel, all right, and, and, uh, and, and two 300-gallon tanks... I also have probably about 10 or 11 uh, diesel fuel cans that are empty right now. This weekend I'm going to fill them all up. I'm going to make sure that my main tank is full and then I'm going to fill them up again and keep them as reserve. I'm going to make sure that my vehicles are topped up with gasoline. Even if they're down to three quarters of a, ga of a tank, I'm going to make sure that they're topped off. Yesterday, I made sure that my water tanks were 100% topped off. So I have a thousand gallon reservoir under my house. And I actually, my tanks couldn't even take all the water that I brought. 
I had to actually go to a ditch and dump about 100 gallons worth of water because I got more than what my tanks would hold. So throughout this weekend, I'm gonna make sure that my tanks are completely topped off. I'm gonna make sure that I'm 100% on fuel and gasoline, and I'm gonna sit down with my wife and see if there's anything that she can think of that we may be missing that we can add to our preps. We are being given a gift, ladies and gentlemen. We really are. We are being given a gift of time. So take this time that you have to do whatever it is that you can do. I'm not telling you to do what I'm doing. Do whatever it is that you can do to be a little bit more prepared just in case. Just in case, ladies and gentlemen, because we don't know what's going to happen. The people that have their fingers on the button, they have an agenda. I put out a short video yesterday on Alaska Prepper News, and I hope you guys looked at that. But it tells you why it is that the who is not calling this thing the P word, if you know what I mean. Go take a look at that video, the last one that I posted on Alaska Prepper News. It's all about the money. They don't care about you and they don't care about me, ladies and gentlemen. That is all there's to it. It is time for you to get up, take some action, do what you can do. All you can do, ladies and gentlemen, is what you can do. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Just be prepared. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you guys take heed to the warning. We are going into something here that is unprecedented. Unprecedented in the history of mankind. Has there ever been a time where our economy or our, our markets have been so artificially bloated at the same time where we were having a crisis that will be worldwide if it already isn't, except that they're hiding it from us. So please take heed to the warning. You're all adults. Do what you feel. It's the right thing for you to do for your families. And for those of you that have large sums of wealth, and I like to call it wealth because it is wealth. If I had money, if I had dollar bills in the stock market, to me that is wealth. Because it took my energy, it took my capital, it took my skills and talents to earn that money. That is my wealth sitting in the stock market. I actually have a little bit of that sitting in the stock market, but not a lot, trust me, not a lot at all. So for those of you that are holding, holding large sums in the stock market, I mean, I'll pray for you guys. In all honesty, ladies and gentlemen, if things keep going on the way that they have been for the last 15, 20 years, it's not gonna hurt me. I'm set. I have hedged myself in every way possible. The only way that I haven't hedged myself if, is if we have some kind of a true disaster where you cannot escape death. And I've still hedged myself in that manner as well when I think about it. Because I am very, very good with my creator. I am comfortable no matter what happens. So be good with your creator. If you believe in that, pray to your creator if you pray. And take the actions that you feel are necessary for you to make it to the other side. Thank you very much for joining in today, ladies and gentlemen. I truly bestow blessings on every single one of you. God bless every one of you. Having said that, remember to be good to each other. Especially now, ladies and gentlemen. Remember to be good to each other. Because when good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place. And you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to every one of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper, and I'm out.